was today gonna be about? Today is something different. Lighting's good. Doing everything on the go. Haven't eaten anything. Um, can you see this? This little bit right here. We're doing a three stage buffer that. I figure how to video. Sort of a how to video. I'm not really sure. Since me and my dad been working, it's crazy busy. I keep pulling in cars into the shop because you guys know Monday through Friday, I'm out mobile. 608. And we just got here 20, 30 minutes ago. Woke up super early. Sorry. Okay. Yesterday, we were doing the first stage, which this is a three stage buffing. I'm not really sure. It was like around 2 a.m. 1.37, I think I am for sure by the time we cleaned up. It was like 2, 2 a.m. I specifically stopped doing the full buff on the first stage so we can actually do the how to video. So physically, I'm just gonna be working on one door. I'll show you one door. There is, there was some bird dropping on that door. It did eat through the clear cup. It was a lot worse. I sanded it a little bit, but I'm, I'm not gonna be showing you guys the sanding part. Let's all pretend we don't know how to buff, okay? I know you probably do know how to, but just let's pretend, okay? And if, you know, it, in some case, say something wrong, or I'm not showing it right, keep it to yourself. Don't, don't embarrass me, come on. Here are some of the tools. You know, three steps. You got the cutting stage, you got the glaze, you got the finish. Sorry, I'm going multiple ways. This is metal, cutting and stuff, not good. Scratch it, let's start over. This one's missing a buff pad. I don't really like to use rotary polishers. That's why there's no buff pad on there. We have these two set up right here. Roops buff pad, and I think this is country cutting pads. I'm like stocked up on porter cable. And one more. Now I think we got everything. First things first, you wash the vehicle, get it cleaned. If there's any contaminants, you clay it. Now you got three steps. I'm about to show you three stage. So first step is cutting compound. My favorite three stage process. I do once in a while swap this out. So let's watch. Number one, ultra cut compound, show card lace. Number two, or ultra finishing polish or small remover 2.0. That's I kind of, I always like using for cutting compound for correction, number one. For second stage, I've been using this, soil remover 2.0, and honestly, I'm just gonna try this today, so. It's always got a little different gloss, but so far I loved ultra cut compound, soil remover 2.0, and ultra finishing polish. I don't know if I can, if I'm gonna go wrong with this. And the last step, like the synthetic sealant, or Sorry, I think this is, might be just. I just want to get this information out before I continue. One, there'll be a two, there'll be a three here. Whatever. One, two, three. For one, this is the same. This is the gallon. I don't even know why. I... Ultracon compound, three of the different types. For second stage that I've used, last sealant. Cutting pad. They come in different colors, obviously. My cutting pad is the yellow, and then I got the finishing blue they're, they're both kind of finishing geez one is softer one is a little bit less softer for both for the second stage for glaze swirl remover and then for sealant the way i've done my buffs is always this way i think enough said most importantly gotta have my fibers out <laughs> I just bought those lights, the four footers by three, 12 feet right there. I should say the lighting is awesome. This is, oh man. I also got lights that are higher. You got one right there, one right there. When you're buffing, you wanna see the difference? Yeah, sorry. We were trying to buff this out yesterday, but then we stopped so I can do this video. This, this video, let me just put the glasses on. It's too bright, but check it. Sorry, sorry for the cool uh, what words. Check it. Just check this out. Action. Wait, wait. Again? Seriously? There we go. 
bird dropping that I was talking about. See how it's all white right there? Because it actually damaged uh, the clear coat. You got a spot here. There's a lot of spots there. Just pretend you guys don't know how to buff all right? And just say, whoa, totally didn't know that. See, this is... This is why I vlog. I get carried away so easily. And then look at this lighting. Oh, I am so freaking like in love with these lights. I should just be bringing in more buff jobs. But man, I need a break. Monday through Friday. Out of the shop. Back 5, 6 p.m. 7, 8, 9, 10. Depends on you know, what kind of jobs I take out mobile. Anytime when I do a buff job, I stay here till like 10, 11, 12. You just keep counting. This has to go out tomorrow. I keep getting distracted. Sorry guys, we're, this video is going to be about how to. Step one, you gotta gear up. Step two, step three. I want to bring in you guys closer. It's going to be hard to figure out. You can see all that. You can see all the cockaboo boo on there. All these scratches, water spots. We're dropping, we're dropping. All these scratches right here. And the list keeps going. And let me bring you on right here on this bird dropping. Depending on how long the bird dropping has been sitting there, it curves, it peels, it cracks the clear coat. It damages the clear coat, period. It's just a buff job. Totally stay focused. It's not a vlog. Got it. First up, we got the DA polisher. We got the cutting com Did I? Yes. Cutting compound. Cutting pad. We apply this compound too. Wait. And then we just I kinda like to do this. You can also do it on a paint dab. Like this. I know I look really handsome down here, thank you. I like to work a section at a time. So first step, we're gonna be removing all the imperfection, the hard water spots, the swirl marks, scratches. Let me just clarify this. Hard water spots do not get removed by clay bar. <sighs> Maybe if you have some very fresh water spots, sure. If water spots been sitting there forever and people are telling me like, oh, I heard you can use clay bar. No, you can't. Do not ever turn the polisher on when you're not touching the paint. If you have some compound, you just splatter. Put her on, you start it. You work it back and forth about a two by two feet, maybe a little less. And you keep working that area until you like the results. Working back forth. I do usually about three. But then when I look afterwards and it doesn't look good, then I do about 10, 15, 20. Well, you get the general idea. I'm gonna start buffing this area. Just look at my techniques, how professional I'm gonna be. Just kind of spread the compound. This is the area I want to work. And then I'll move on to the bottom portion, then to the top portion. Number one tip, I don't like when people start with fresh compound and they always go in the cracks or to the door handle, to the window trim. Put some compound on. Start in the center of a panel where there's no cracks or gases or whatever. So you're gonna load up a whole bunch of compound in there. And when it dries out, when it dries out, it's gonna be really hard to wash off. I think guys, it's finally happening. Let's do it. Bird dropping. I am gonna probably uh, apply a little more compound in that spot. And I'm gonna just hold there for a little bit. You usually wanna move it slow, back and forward, you know, kinda like in this paste. And then when you come into like a finished buff, you can kinda speed it up a little bit. When you when you have a lot of imperfection, that's where you, when you wanna just go a little slower so you can work it. You keep about, for porter cable, I keep on five. Between four and five. I knew I could count on you guys. Thank you for the suggestion. I know. The tape would be perfect line to see the difference before and after. Wait, am I recording? <sighs> see, that's the life vlog, life struggle. You know, when you think you're recording and you shoot a whole bunch of funny stuff, right? And then nothing ever gets recorded and you just stand there and you're like it was so how am i supposed to i will get back to it like i keep telling you guys i get distracted who am i kidding you can pretty much buff any way you want there's no special ways of buffing this as long as you just keep rubbing it going back and forth checking and you know looking at the results you like it you move on Oh yeah, like again, bird dropping, good luck with it. What? Okay, definitely don't know what I'm doing. Why is there... Oh, wait, wait. Now I see. 
that's the bird dropping damage right there and there was slight let's just give you up close and personal so this is sort of a you know what you get what kind of difference to spread it evenly up on the entire pad. You work slower speed. Second stage, you apply and that's it. You don't have to work it. wiping the rest of the car you want to flip to a fresh side because when sealant builds up a lot in your microfiber towel you're just going to be spreading it or smudging it after a while every other panel flip it to a fresh side that's it guys well that was it for this video and i do hope you enjoyed the video stage buff that that blue tape and that blue tape i have no idea why i have so much light so but i guess it's just to distract the viewers from what we're physically doing they will never know we changed the way we oh. <laughs> oh yeah we do blast replacement as well